Welcome back, today we're gonna go through how to apply LUTs in Final Cut Pro and specifically for S-Log3 and we have two, actually we have three ways to apply LUTs in Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna show you them all and you may be wondering, Mats, what are you doing out in the nature? Well, I'm out traveling and I don't have my office so today this is my outdoor office. So let's start digging into Final Cut Pro and how to apply the LUTs. So if you have seen my previous two videos in this video series about S-Log3 and the Sony A7S III, then good job! This is the third and last video in this video series. If you haven't seen them already, consider go back and watch them. The first one was about why I use S-Log3 and how I set up my camera, my Sony A7S III, for filming in S-Log3. The second video, that was about how to expose the S-Log3 and we programmed the C1 and C2 to use the zebras so we never missed a shot again, at least not because of any under or overexposed shots. So now it's time to apply the LUTs in Final Cut Pro so we can see how we deal with this S-Log3 footage when we have got into Final Cut Pro because Final Cut Pro is my preferred editing software, you can use whatever you want but that's what I'm using, so that's what I'm going to show you. So what we expect is that the S-Log3 footage looks very washed out, so the LUT is going to bring all that color and luminosity back again. My most preferred way to do that is... No, wait. Are we going to do the most preferred way last? And we're going to do my least preferred way first. That's how we're going to do it. So let's start with the first clip. This clip is filmed with the C1 setting in my camera and the second clip is filmed with C2 setting in my camera and if you're interested in seeing how we set this up for the zebras then watch my previous video because that's where we're going to go through all of that. So just shortly the C1 is 56 plus minus 3 and the C2 is 94 plus. So for the C1 I'm going to apply the phantom LUTs. So the way I have to do that you click on the clip and then you go to the effects browser down here and you search for LUT for LUT and here you get the custom LUT then you can just drag that one and drop it onto the clip drag that one and drop it onto the clip drop it onto the clip and then click that clip and then go up here to the inspector window and here you have the custom LUT that we just dragged and dropped onto it and here we select what LUT we would like to use so for this we're going to use the phantom LUT and then I'm going to select neutral and there we have the clip now we have adjusted back and corrected the S-Log3 gamma curve and now we can of course do more advanced corrections. We can correct the exposure, it's a little too bright, let's drag down the skin tones, maybe that is a little bit too... Yeah, you can of course fix it afterwards. But that's not what this video is about, this video is about the LUTs. And then for the second clip we're gonna do the same, we click it, go up here, and for this one, that one is exposed to the right ETTR, so we're gonna use the leaming LUTs, and I usually go for the LUT Pro 3 and the S-Log3. Now we're probably gonna run into some issues because we expose for the highlights and we have the sun here in the background, and expect that it's a little bit too dark. Paul Leeming has fixed this for us. So we drag another custom LUT onto that clip, go back, and he has also this Leeming LUT Pro Quickie. So for example, Apollo Brighter. Oh, well, that's a little bit better. Maybe that one. Oh, yeah, that's good. And then you can just use these Quickies to adjust these exposed to the right clips so it looks exactly as you would like to have it. And of course you can do more adjustments up here if, if you would like to, but for this video I'm not going to do that. So this is my least preferred way to work with the LUTs. Let's delete this once and delete from this clip as well and I'm going to show you my second most preferred way. And that is to actually use adjustment layers. And you may be thinking, Mats, there are no adjustments layer in Final Cut Pro. Well, there are not, but you can fix that with plugins. So if you go here, I have RT adjustment layers and RT stands for ripple training. And those guys, they are fantastic. They have so many good plugins and I'm gonna drop links to these guys in the um, description box as well. So you can just click that link to get here. And here they have the RT adjustment layer and it's for free. So you can just download it and use it as much as you want. And the way it works is that I just take the adjustment layer, I drag it on top of the clips. And I'm gonna have that one there, I can take the next one, drag and drop on that clip, and then I drag and drop this custom LUT to that adjustment layer instead. And then I do the same again, 
I can click the adjustment layer and I select the LUT I would like to use. Airy, let's see this time we take tungsten. To the other clip we do the same. We take the adjustment layer and select the leaning LUT Athena S low 3. And as before you can just drag a second effect to that adjustment layer and then you're getting a second one up here and you can just apply a quickie. For example, we're gonna apply that quickie. So this is my second preferred way to use the LUTs in Final Cut Pro. And why I like this is because I have these adjustment layers here so I can see that I have done something with the clips. Because sometimes it's easy to forget to apply a LUT to clip and I've done it many times and when I've ex exported a video and then I just looking through it before I upload it and I realize holy crap there is one clip that I haven't done anything with. But now let's delete this adjustment layers and I'm going to show you my very preferred way to use the LUTs in Final Cut Pro. And why this is my preferred way is because it's so much easier and so much faster than all of the other two ways. And the way I do that is that I click the clip up here in the library and then I go to the inspector window and then you say oh but here is nothing about LUTs no it's not but if you click here and select general or extended instead in my case I selected general then I get the camera LUT here and then I can select the LUT here again and here let's take Pike's LUTs today I'm gonna link to his LUTs as well because they are really good because he has for how you have exposed it if it's neutral exposed if it's overexposed and then what kind of skin adjustments you would like to have. But in this case I think that one stop overexposed is good. And base. Well, there, it looks fantastic. And now I can do that for the next clip. I click that one in the library and I select the LUT. And I'm gonna have the leaming LUT for that one. Let's take Athena and let's take s 3. And there we have it again. The limitation is that I can't apply more than one thing here. You know that we had added these quickies before, but that's just because those are not LUTs, those are just adjustments. So the best thing with this is that when I have this one and I drag it down here, it's already applied. For example, if I have a very long clip, say that you have a clip that is 20 minutes, you pull it down to the timeline, you start editing it, you have cut it up in hundreds of pieces, and then you realize I haven't applied a LUT. And then you're gonna do that on all of them. And then you have other things in between. So then you just click on it up here, you go to the right and apply the camera a lot directly here. That is so quick and so fast. So editing mouse here, I just realized that I didn't mention that you actually don't need to go up to the library to set this LUT in the inspector panel. You can also click any of those clips, even if you have cut it up in hundreds of small clips, that big clip from the library, even if you click just one of them down on a timeline, you can go up to the inspector and change the LUT there as well. And it's gonna change for all of those clips that you have in a timeline. So this is how I use LUTs in Final Cut Pro for my S-Log3 footage. If you liked the video, well then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next video. I hope to see you then. Over and out from, this is Finland. Over and out from Finland, bye.